I'm Chris with Only SP, and I'm here with Mark from Beanox. Hey. And what do you do over at Beanox? I'm a game director working on the latest Modern Warfare uh, title. Uh, before that, I was a lead engineer. I work on the out of the Spider-Man games, the, the Black Ops 3, the, okay. the Black Ops 4 on PC, and I switch on the Modern Warfare on the PC version. Nice. And uh, you are located here in Canada. Yeah, uh, Quebec, Quebec City. City. Yes, yeah. good place. Nice. Seeing as you do have a technical background, what are some of the advancements coming through to this Call of Duty Modern Warfare from like the previous ones? Oh, well, it's a brand new engine that we have this year. Okay. Uh, there's a, a lot of improvement regarding the lightings, the, 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 the shadows. Uh, for the PC version, we have some uh, partnership with NVIDIA. Uh, we do okay. some uh, what we call a DL, DLSS, which is the deep learning super sampling, okay. uh, which kind of uh, reduce the resolution or higher the resolution based on your performance. And we do the retracing um, on the RTX card, which is basically uh, we add some... Um, well, we do some ray tracing for the shadows. So, like, if there are some dynamic lights, uh, the shadow is going to be more soft and okay. more uh, close to the reality. So, it, the quality of the effect is much, much, much better. So, uh, that's for the the Nvidia features. Yeah, that's amazing. So, is there going to be a big difference from like console to PC, or are they looking to run around the same like frame rate, graphics, so forth? Uh, you know, we're doing crossplay this year. Oh yes, I did hear something about that. <laughs> <laughs> so it's one of the, the, the main challenges that we have this year is that we don't want to have a, a, a complete different experience or an unbalanced uh, gameplay between the PC and the console since okay. they are going to play together. So uh, one of the challenges is to make sure that the, no matter what is the, co the, the platform you're playing with or the, the input device that you're using, you want to have a fair experience. Um, so that we uh, want to make sure, for instance, that uh, there's no... Uh, if you, if you play with the min spec on PC, you won't be able to hide some of the foliage so that you can see through uh, oh, bushes okay. and stuff like that. So it's kind of the challenges that we want to make sure that remains fair for all the player base. Uh, without having a, a too high min spec, we want to have a, the widest range as possible of uh, different uh, hardware uh, specs. Okay. Yeah. Now, is because the campaign mode is single player and you won't be having to deal with people online, are people going to be able to push the graphics on that a little bit more? Yeah, you can push the graphic all the way you want. Oh, perfect. <coughs> uh, you know, PC, we want to have an uncapped frame rate. So you, okay. can, you can play the campaign at 240 FPS on a 240 uh, monitor a refresh rate. So you have a very smooth experience. Yeah. <coughs> you can also play it on a 32 by 9 monitor. So we have a wider field of view. Oh, nice. Oh, if you're, you're crazy and want to push the limit to get like, Three sixteen by nine monitors and play on a really wide screen. Uh, oh yeah, I've like seen people with those race. like those really big setups with like the curved screens and they got like yeah. four around them. Exactly. Yeah, you can have this kind of feeling if you want, and the game is is, is, is going to adapt correctly to, to your setup. Okay. So that's some of the advantages to be on PC is that you make sure that most of the other words working uh, correctly. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, with the campaign, I know this is a revamp of the original Modern Warfare, so are we going to see a return of any characters or cast members from the original to this one? Yeah, I can't say too much about that. Okay. Um, you know, the, 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 the campaign has been reimagined from the old Modern Warfare, okay. so it's kind of the same pacing characters or storyline, except it's all written over, so it's, okay. it's a new story. There are some of the characters that might be coming back. You, you see, uh, you saw Price oh, yes. on the... On the in the in the reveal event, so you'll see more eventually when the, the games come out, of course. All right, that's good. That's going to be good for a lot of fans because <laughs> I remember, I think Modern Warfare Two was my big one that got me into it, and I remember uh, playing online at the time, and I had the icon for Soap because he was a character in the game, and there was like a little soap bar <laughs> that looked like Fight Club, but it said Soap on it. Nice. That uh, that was just like one cool little thing that always stuck with me. Nice. Did you play on PC or did you play on the console? Xbox. Uh, PlayStation 3. PlayStation 3? Okay. Yeah. Oh, nice. nice. Yeah. Cool. I didn't actually get like a good strong gaming PC until I was in like college. <laughs> so gaming on PC is some, somewhat of a newer thing for me, but okay. console is my bread and butter. All right. That's yeah. cool. You know, the, the, we also want to bring the kind of the same feeling that was back in the old Call of Duties, like the, okay. the slow pace, more tactical. Yeah. Like you, you don't simply run and gun. You have to take yeah. your times. Uh, the recall is much more intense, so you cannot yeah. just spread it around. So okay, that's it's good. Kind of where the franchise is going at the moment, like just okay. uh, reboot the rehaving the same kind of uh, mechanics that was in the previous titles. Okay, kind of going back to where like the popularity the sprung rooms. from. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I know a lot of people were starting to get tired of the the like high octane action with like Affinity Warfare and Black Ops Four with like the jetpacks and stuff. Yeah. So did that play a lot into coming back to like 
as they said in World War II, the boots on the ground gameplay yeah. and revamping Modern Warfare. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's more grounded this year. I want, I said, wanted the gameplay to be more tactical, slow pace. Okay. Uh, yeah, it, it's a big shift towards what was uh, very popular back at that time on the Modern Warfare. Yeah. Uh, same, same thing for the guns. They all feel awesome. They feel like a real weapon. So yeah. It's something that was very important for IW. Um, with the campaign, now that it's taking a much more mature route, are we going to see more battles taking place in like neighborhoods and so forth or is it going to be still a lot more on like the you know the the battlegrounds you know broken down cities abandoned areas or are we going to have a lot more closer tight-knit like suburban areas uh well the different maps actually <laughs> <laughs> the different scenarios uh you know and all, all the maps are all kind of tied together since okay. we, we don't want the player to have a different experience playing the campaign than playing the multiplayer than playing the playing the, the co-op it's all feel the same it's, okay. a, it's a big unified game unified experience uh, but we have some very small maps <coughs> like at the moment there is a 2v2 uh, PS4 alpha yeah. uh, it's only 2v2 maps for gunfights so it's all very small uh, shooting okay. range uh, we also have the, at the opposite, we have the 32 versus 32 Crown Wars. Oh, nice. Uh, it's a much larger map. There's like five dimension points or stuff like that. You have some vehicles that you can drive to, to get from point A to point B. So um, it's basically different scenarios based on the game mode. Okay. Um, working along with Activision and Infinity War to work on uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, what has been some of the more exciting aspects of working on such a big title? Uh, I'm a big PC fan. <laughs> j j just the fact that I can work on the PC is a big excitement for me. Okay. Um, I played a lot of uh, Call of Duty uh, on PC back in the days, like uh, Call of Duty 2, Modern Warfare. Okay. Uh, I'm a big competitive player on okay. PC, so it's it's a good vibe actually to be able to to, to bring the current game to the to the on PC and to make sure that it feels great, it feels responsive, it feels fluid. So that's okay. kind of the things that drives me. Uh, and we have a big team at Binox uh, working on that. Uh, they work on Black Ops 4 uh, on the PC version. Okay. Like the PC was awesome. And it's the same thing that uh, same team that we bought over for the Modern Warfare. So we kind of we have a good experience of what, what went wrong, what went well, and how we can improve. So yeah, people are very happy about uh, this, uh, this project. So That's far. good. Um, one of the big things, uh, Black Ops 4 <laughs> kind of got you know, some, some heat what, because he didn't come out with a campaign. Has that changed, or from your perspective, has that changed how Activision looks at the Call of Duty franchise or just as games in general? Yeah, I'm not part of those discussions. <laughs> <laughs> but in my opinion, I really love the, the Modern Warfare campaign at the moment. Uh, you know, it's it's more like a, you feel like tied to the, to the characters. Yeah. It's it's very emotional campaigns. It's fun to play. It's very uh, uh it's, there's a car mechanics in there which are really cool. Oh, nice. Um, uh, I cannot say what drove this decision on Black Ops 4 to remove them or what uh, decided to, why, why there's a campaign this year, but uh, I guess it's because people like it, I guess, most of the yeah. time. <laughs> campaign is always fun, so yeah. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Um, when it comes to the multiplayer, you, you were saying that the maps are like based on the campaign modes. Uh, so are you taking like the campaign levels and editing them or are they just going to be themed around what happens in the campaign? It's more like themed around. Uh, okay. You know, as I said, we want to have a unified experience, so there's some of the levels that are shared, some are not, of course. Yeah. So it depends on which level and which part of the section that we're going to play on. Okay. Yeah. Um, one of my favorite aspects of like older Call of Duty games was even if I didn't want to go online, I can just go into like local multiplayer yeah. and like crank up a bunch of settings and do a bunch of stuff and just fight like a bunch of AI. <laughs> Will that be possible in the new Call of Duty Modern Warfare? Uh, at the moment on the PC, uh, you have to be online to play on Battle.net. Okay. It's a Battle.net requirement. I lost my feel of ideas. Where I was going with that. Yeah, no, I totally lost my train of thought too. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Um, so with the new Call of Duty Modern Warfare yeah. being a revamp of the first one, yeah. are, is it going to be a, a trilogy again? Is that confirmed, or is it just going to be the one and then see how the reception is and continue? No idea. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'd, I'd love to see more more of it, of course. Yeah. I I don't. Okay. <gasps> um, working Yet. with Infinity Ward, 
uh, on Call of Duty, do you guys ever share information or how the development's going with the with like Treyarch or Sledgehammer with their other games? Yeah. Is it is it like a tight knit community building it, or are you kind of just off doing your own thing? Uh, it's a big partnership that you have to develop with the main developer. Uh, like la last year, we worked with uh, Black Ops 4 and PC with Treyarch. Yeah. Um, it was a little bit different since uh, we were not doing crossplay. So some of yeah. the decisions that we're making on PC were bound to PC and will not affect the console. Okay. Uh, like for instance, we have the sniper rifle, or pretty powerful on PC, uh, since you can move the mouse faster. Oh, true, yeah. And it's a little bit easier to aim. So like we we raised the uh, the uh, the uh, the body location where the oh, okay. hit by a sniper. Uh, so that's kind of the change that we have. We could have put in place uh, last year, uh, and for that we discussed with Treyarch and say, "Hey, we're going, we're going to do, go with this change, with these change based on these stats or these uh, players' feedback." Okay. And uh, but this year, since we're doing, doing crossplay, we cannot do those drastic yeah. change. Everything has to go with uh, IW, so we have a really good partnership with them, with uh, Josie Cut, with Jeffrey Smith, with Z. Uh, it's always amazing to talk with those guys. Basically, okay. we, we, we come with ideas that we add on Black Ops 4, or we saw different Call of Duty games. Like, uh, hey, uh, the chain stands could be split into the crouch or the, the prone the button. So we, instead of having a single button and you press or all, uh, we have multiple buttons. Okay. So um, so if you want to press a single key to go to a, a special special stance, uh, you can do it on PC. So we have to we talk we we propose those ideas to IW. We discuss them to make sure that it won't make the game too much unfair. Okay. So if you're a keyboard and mouse, you won't have a, a too big of an advantage. So uh, for that, we just bring those ideas to these guys. Okay. And same thing for the UI. Like for the UI, if, if you have a mouse. You can pretty much click on everything on the screen, <laughs> unlike on a gamepad that you are yeah. you are stuck to a, to a certain selection. So for that, we have to make some uh, change to the UI, and for that, we have a constant discussion with uh, Alex Chapman, who is a UX designer, okay. and we also are UX designer at Binox. So we basically just talk with each other, making sure that we make the right decision all the time. Good. And we try we try to do it as uh, early as possible in the development. Basically, uh, as long as we're writing some design document, we try to make sure that the PC is take into consideration, making yeah. sure that all the changes that go on console will also work on PC. True. So that we, we can just uh, push it forward. True. So since there is going to be cross-play, yeah. uh, people that play on PC or console, if someone's more comfortable with the controller, will it, will it change how the PC treats it? Or, or is it <coughs> still going to be kind of like keyboard and mouse players are still going to have a little bit of an advantage? <laughs> I mean, like it is easier to aim with a mouse. There's yeah. not much around that. You're, you're right, you're right. Um, you know, the, the plan is to actually have everyone play in the same pool by default so okay. that uh, everybody can play together. So there's a big mass of player, so we don't have to wait a lot of time in order to find a match. Uh, but uh, there's also going to be a way to opt out of uh, this pool, so yet you can play only with the input type that you want. Oh, okay. So if you're on the PC and you're playing on the gamepad, for instance, uh, you don't really want to play with keyboard and mouse. So you could opt out and you're going to join the console pool and, join and play with the gamepad with them. Okay. So we'll have MSS and all the features that they have on the console, yeah. but you will be able to do it on uh, PC. And same thing for the console. If you're on console and you like to play with keyboard and mouse, you can join the PC pool and join with the uh, keyboard and mouse. Uh, oh, PC. that's nice. Yep. Yeah. That is nice. Um, when it comes to the campaign, have you noticed get as heavy as uh, Modern for 2's so No Russian scenario, the, uh, where you were in the airport and you had to, like, sadly shoot down some civilians and mm -hmm. stuff? With the new campaign taking such a more mature route, is it going to be more along those lines or is it just going into like darker tones or how are they ch you have taking to play more it. mature? <laughs> <laughs> I cannot answer that much about the content of the campaign. Uh, I know it's, there's a lot of emotional moment in the campaign, okay. but uh, you got you to play through it to, to see it. Fair enough, fair enough. Um, do you know how long the campaign will be though? on like an average hour? I think it was as the tires to like eight hours or eight, hours? eight, eight to nine hours, I think, yeah. Okay, not bad. I think so. Is there going to be the return of any like modes, sort of like zombies or Modern Warfare 3 survival? Is the new Modern Warfare going to have anything like that? Uh, zombies is not planned at the moment. Uh, okay. The plan actually is to go with the cooperative mode called okay. the, similar to the Sec Ops of Modern oh, Warfare okay. 2. So basically you team up with the friends or more than one friend. And you go to these PVE missions where you have to define somebody or oh, you have okay. to, to attack somebody. And it, we try to make, uh, actually, IW try to make it so that it's tied to the to the main game. Oh, so okay. it's all a big, big uh, picture of the game. So, so. everything's overconnected with this lore. Exactly. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah.
Perfect. Is there a way to do those uh, cooperative missions solo if someone chooses to? Yeah. yeah. OK. Might be hard, but yeah, you can try. <laughs> Some people like that challenge. <laughs> yes. <laughs> True. Because, because you know, if you die, you, you, you die. So those are the cooperative mission. But uh, if you have a teammate, they can revive you. So the, yeah. there's always an advantage to play with, uh, with other players. Yeah. yeah. Would that also be available in local co-op, or is it online yeah. only? Yeah. Uh, on console. OK, on console. Yeah. Perfect. As I said, PC is not supposed to have uh, offline uh, play. Okay. Since you're always going to be online player. Sure. But you can play alone online. Yes. Yeah. Uh, consoles, will you need to be always online to even play the campaign? I cannot say that much about that. I don't think so, but I'm not sure. Okay. So Fair enough. Was there anything that might not be known as of yet about Call of Duty that you are allowed to talk about that you want uh, fans of the series or even people coming into it now? Great question. Well, people, I've been playing the, the 2v2 alpha at the moment, and I don't see many players playing on keyboard and mouse. Okay. It works really good on the console. So it would be great to have some keyboard and mouse player <laughs> okay. on the console. And, and um, you know, and as soon as you, you plug, it's very easy. You just plug a keyboard and mouse, and uh, you activate it. You get kind of the same feeling that were on PC. So you, you, okay. you do you, all the action and the, the, the settings that would be that will be available on PC will also be able on console. So okay. you can rebind all the keys that you want. You can use the behaviors that you want. Like uh, like I said, if you want to hold uh, to go uh, to hold the, the right click to go into the aim note side, or you want to toggle it, there's an option for that. Oh, that's so awesome. just exposing a lot of options for the player to tweak uh, the different settings you want. Okay. Basically, the idea behind that is that no matter from where game you were playing before or you're playing at the moment, we'll, we'll try to make sure that you have the same kind of feeling or you have the same yeah. kind of binding, so you're not two of us at the, at the start. One game, one family. Exactly. Yeah, I like that. And that will also support campaign mode, I, I assume, right? Yeah. Perfect. Th uh, the idea is, since we have a unified experience, it's also important on PC, I want to make sure all the key binds will try to merge over all the game modes. OK. <coughs> so if you bind something and for when playing multiplayer, it's going to work in campaign and co-op. Okay. So that's the idea behind it. There's some action that might be uh, specific to a game mode. Yeah. And for that, we have different uh, contexts of uh, inputs. So yeah, that's something that we put in place this year. Yeah, that makes sense. Yep. All right. Well, I'd like to say thank you for uh, taking sure. time to talk to me and sure. everyone out there that's looking forward to this game. Actually, I do have one question. I don't cool. know if you'll be able to answer this one. Okay. What Can was it the decision behind bringing back um, Night Vision Goggles for a collector's edition? Because I remember they did that long ago. I was not part of that decision. <laughs> I was really curious I, I, what got say, them to bring that back. All I can say is that Night Vision is really cool on, on the gameplay side. Okay. Uh, <coughs> because yeah, there's some mission like in, in Moonsplayer that you have to put them on and off. Okay. Uh, since there's some light switch, like you can turn on the light and everybody in the room has to put their Night Vision or else they don't see anything. Okay. And the opposite is if you have your Night Vision and somebody turns on the light, you just get the <laughs> oh, nice. you have s too much light in the eye, so you have to, to, to remove them. Okay. So, it's kind of integrated a little bit more into the gameplay uh, this year, so okay. it's kind of cool. So this is looking to be a m more of a tactical Call of Duty? Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Yep. That's awesome. Well, I'd like to say thank you again. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. Sure. Have a good day, everyone. Bye. Going dark. Start clear!